What's up everybody? Welcome to London parking lot and today I'm gonna do a special video. 4th of July coming up, be careful, there's gonna be a lot of injuries with fireworks and everything so I want you to be double careful. So today I'm gonna show you a very cool experiment with sparklers. By the way, safety is number one priority, fire extinguisher close by and kids do not try this at home by yourself. Then I'm gonna bring microwave proof glass container with some water and then I'm gonna light it up and throw it in the water and see what happens. First I'm gonna light it up and throw it in the water without the tape and see what happens. So as you can see if you just put it in the water it just goes off. Let's see what happens if I tape one up. Alright and now let's drop it with the tape on. Guess what? It's actually burned inside of the water pretty cool huh check it out it went off style a lot more and guess what it's actually burns in the water how is it possible Try this one more time Let's tape up the whole bunch of them and see what happens. So we're gonna start it up. Look, if I try to put it in the water without the duct tape or the tape, it just goes off. Alright, that's pretty much it. Let me know what you think in comments below. This experiment works because sparklers contain oxidizer, which is potassium nitrate, and once it's on fire, it doesn't need oxygen. Because we tape it up together, we isolate it from water, so that's why it's burned under water. Something like that. If I'm wrong about that, comment below if you have better explanation. And as always, thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, like this video, and I'll see you next time. Video on the right, check out how Soul Hacker setting off 200 sparklers at once. And video on the left, Grant Thompson making homemade sparklers. So I want you to click on both of those videos, check them out, let me know what you think in their comments below. And thumbs up all of the videos.